Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Express Themes. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to create a cool blog website in a quick and easy way using Punta WordPress theme. Punta is our newly released free Elementor based WordPress theme. Even if you are a newbie with no much technical skill, then it's totally fine. I'm going to explain everything step by step and keep it as simple as possible. The theme comes with 12 ready to use starter website and one of them is blog. Which means Punta already come packaged with pre-built content with plenty of powerful features and lots of designing options for your blog website. All you have to do is import the demo content available and start customizing it as per your need. Now let's get started with the procedure of creating a blog website using Punta WordPress theme. First of all, let's install and activate Punta WordPress theme on your WordPress dashboard. Just simply go to the add themes and search for Punta WordPress theme and then install and activate it which we I have already done. Once your theme is activated, you will land to a welcome page where you can see a button with go to importer page. Click on it. Then you will land to a page where you are asked to choose a starter website. Since we are going to build a blog website, choose the blog demo. Simply click on the import button. It will redirect to you a pop-up message where you are asked to install a required plugin. I have already installed few of them so I don't have to reinstall them but if you are starting it from the scratch and you don't have installed the required plugin you have to install all of them if you need the exactly the same appearance that they have shown in the demo website so install them when all the required plugins are installed and activated click on the next step button in the next step you have to choose the demo content that you want to import for now i have selected all the demo content so click on the start importing button now your demo data are being imported when your all the demo data are imported click on the view site button once you import the demo data, your site will look something like this. All the post pages and content that are being displayed in this post are imported from the starter website. So you need to replace it with your original post. To create a new post, go to the dashboard and go to the post and click on the add new post. Here you will land to a page where you can create your own post. With Punte is a Gutenberg ready theme so you can create your post with the advanced content editor with lots of styling options. So create your new post, assign them to the category tags, put the future image and set the other post attribution and publish it. Likewise for the page go to the dashboard, go to the page and go to the add new and add a new page with the Gutenberg ready content editor or you can also design your unique page from the Elementor. Once you publish your page and post, now they are ready to display on your home page. To replace the menu, go to the appearance and click on the menu. From here, you can change the existing dummy menu with your own page, post, costume links and any other items that you want to keep in your menu bar so customize is as per your requirement and save it now when you are done with creating your own menu page post categories tag now we will learn how to edit the home page of Punte blog theme Punte blog homepage is made with Elementor. So to edit the homepage, you have to edit it with Elementor. So click on the edit with Elementor right on the top bar. 
you can see Punta WordPress theme has used clean and variable font. Every section in the home page is clear and is modern design. So now to replace the existing content with your own content, click on the editing mode in the left panel. From the left panel, you can control the everything of this blog, such as how many number of blog posts you want to show in this section, and what is the size, what uh, and what size of emails you want to use, uh, setting for the larger emails. From the query section, you can show whether to use post or page in this particular section. If you also, you can sort it with the categories or the tag of your content uh, you can also uh, select uh, you can also exclude the post that you don't want to show in this header block and you can order it by date and you can order it by ascending or descending date in the style from the style section you can change the color title color typography button style and so many others and for costume css and more advanced styling options you have got advanced settings section from where you can edit everything likewise for the other section of the home page you do the same go to the edit more then you can control the layout query styling options and advanced styling option of your particular section Punte blog has got a auto trending and latest blog section to display so you can edit each section by clicking on the edit mode and like we have configured the first header blog section you can configure it in the same way bar of latest news we have added a column where there is a great looking tie out panel to display author by author bio by clicking on the edit mode and from the left panel you can change everything that are being shown on this home page you can see here we have displayed category stickers on each blog image which make it more alluring and informative besides the punte has got is the social media linking at the header and also a visible blog subscription button from where your audience can easily subscribe to your blog website and get notified when you publish a new blog post also it has got a full screen search image where your audience can search for the blog post or anything they are looking for you can edit delete and modify everything on the home page right from the elementor you can add the new section as per your requirement and to edit the sections as i already showed you it's very easy click on this particular section click on the edit more and you can change the content design and also have advanced setting for that particular section so now let's move toward the punte blog archive or blog category page so here is a blog category page now you can edit this blog category page here is one of the blog category page you can customize this blog category page right from the customizer click on the customizer here are lots of customizing options available from getting started you can change the general settings such as whether to show the breadcrumb or not whether to enable or disable the back to top button so here is the back to top button uh, you can use it as per your preference and need of your website you can change the color of the back to top button you can choose whether to make it responsive or not uh, you can choose the layout of your website, uh, choose the layout of your sidebar, whether you want to use no sidebar or only right sidebar, left sidebar or double sidebar. 
this is the page sidebar layout this is the post sidebar layout this is the portfolio sidebar layout this is the archive page sidebar layout so you can choose and customize it as you want you can choose whether to show the post title bar or not whether to show the page title bar or not and same for the archive title bar moving to the next you can customize your header you can change the header style from the available options you can choose what you can customize the main header of your website and you can add enable or disable the top header and customize it also you can use the costume header from the header builder same with the footer you can choose the column you can choose how many columns you want to display on your footer or you can design your own costume builder and use it right from the footer builder so customization option you can uh, choose the style of your sidebar there are two options available you can choose any one of your choice From the site identity you can upload the costume logo of your website and also upload the site icon of your website you can choose whether to show the site title and tagline or not from the blog section you can choose the style of your blog category page whether you want to display uh, from the blog page you can choose the style of your blog category page whether you want to display with a full content or with a excerpt content you can define the length of the excerpt content also you can choose the post content and category content that you want to show or hide on your WordPress on your website Likewise, there are other many customization options. Let's go to the menus. From the menus, you can uh, change, create, or replace your menu items and its location. And also, you can add additional CSS to your website as per the need. Same like the category page, you can uh, edit your blog single page right from the customizer so let's move one of let's move to one of the single page so this is the single page of your blog you can also edit it right from the customizer the customization options are as same as that of your blog category so you can easily uh, change whatever you want on your blog single page in blog single page Punti theme has got a recent post section a comment section also you can display the author bio and the comments on this Punti is a fully responsive theme in all the devices available so in this video we discuss how to install Punti WordPress theme import its blog starter website customize it and create a blogging website if you have any problem working with Punta WordPress theme, it comes with an extensive detailed documentation. Also, they provide customer support on online chat, support forum, and email. So, if you have any problem working with it, you can contact to the support team.